In working towards our goals, how do we experience decision making? And how can you use this experience to improve performance? For answers, we can turn to the APE model and the concept of goal-oriented decision making. With APE, goals are a central feature, requiring motivation as we assess, we plan, and we execute. Each component can be experienced at an intuitive level, as well as through conscious deliberation. Taken as a whole, APE is a natural model that describes how we experience decision making in action. As a central feature, the decisions we make are often driven by our goals, and our goals, rational or not, introduces the role of motivation. This adds an element of volition or personal agency, with goals developing out of prior experiences, as well as established principles, values, and beliefs. This creates a different foundation than rational or mechanistic models, which largely ignore individual or intrinsic differences in motivation. And we experience decision making in terms of how we assess, asking what's the situation. To assess means to try to make sense of the current conditions as we engage in mental contrasting, thinking about where we are in contrast to a potential future state. This potential future may invoke a range of emotions of varying intensity, such as desire or fear, creating situated motivation. And this imagined future establishes a situated goal that becomes the focus of our efforts. As we assess, we also consider what action or actions will work. This is task motivation, where we select or develop a plan that will achieve the situated goal. Typically speaking, for situations that are highly familiar, we intuitively select a plan that already worked under similar conditions. We can feel confident in our abilities, sometimes too confident. On the other hand, for situations that are unfamiliar, we often experience feelings of uncertainty, prompting us to deliberate, trying to gather more information, reassess the situation, and discover a workable plan. This means that sometimes we can be motivated by a situation but still fail to act if we lack confidence in our plan, if we lack task motivation. We also experience decision making in terms of execution, asking how well are we implementing the plan. In selecting a plan, we mentally execute, which is the initial basis for developing task motivation, but then we must actually implement the plan, and it is when we physically execute that we begin to receive feedback, allowing us to monitor our progress, update the situation, and make adjustments to our plans as the situation evolves. There's also a balance between making decisions using intuition or deliberation, with experience playing a major role. The less experience you have, the more likely a situation will be unfamiliar, requiring conscious effort as you need to slow down and deliberate. On the other hand, as you gain experience, the more familiar a situation will become. This allows you to quickly recognize key aspects of a situation at a subconscious level, allowing for very rapid, intuitive decisions. It is also important to keep in mind that APE is not a cyclical or circular model that repeats, where you first assess, then plan, then execute. Instead, the components work together, similar to how you might have a computer with multiple processors working in parallel, or how your lungs, heart, and brain function as a system. This means each component influences the other components simultaneously. While driving a car, for instance, you are assessing, while planning, while executing, juggling multiple decisions in order to reach your destination. The bottom line is that goal-oriented decision-making focuses on how we experience decision-making in the pursuit of what we are trying to achieve. And APE is a model that allows us to explore decision-making in terms of these experiences, in terms of how we can better assess, better plan, and better execute.